The only way that you can really move forward in, in anything and live a life that's fulfilling is to feel the highs and to feel the lows. We chose to find those simple things in life and to celebrate them, to be grateful for them, because they fleet. And her short life taught us that. Don't take it for granted. Cherish it while it's here. I could just watch it. I was excited every day about being a United States Marine. I went from a young private up to staff sergeant and then rose to the rank of major before retiring. And then Ainsley came along in 2003. She's our second born child. She's so full of joy, man. I mean, when she entered the world, she just had like a permanent sense of happiness about her. We just were a family of four, loving our lives together. It was during my deployment to Iraq in 2005 when Lori voiced some concerns about Ainsley's progression. There were some milestones like pulling to stand and walking that she wasn't reaching. I can remember that like it was yesterday. Shock, denial, sadness, all the feelings. And then me thinking to myself, what can I do to make it less painful? My wife and I realized, let's go enjoy every day with Ainsley. Let's celebrate every day. Like we went out and we shared Ainsley's joy with everyone. There they go, first run. Ainsley's physical therapist told us that there was a new group called Team Hoyt Virginia Beach that was starting up back in 2008. We got down there and Ainsley got put into the running chair. I can remember that exact moment where her face just lit up like the sun. It was just so grabbing and so just joyful. Okay, let's go. And just in that split second of time, it was an immediate decision to say, I'm not a runner, but I'm about to become one for my daughter. I got to go outside and run with my daughter and take all her machines off and just go, just roll with the wind. And as time went on, we wanted more because it was so amazing, the experience, just the energy. So we worked together to bring the equipment needed and pairing it with runners and riders. And, and that was it, man. And, and here we are now, you know, 10 years later. I just never imagined that going for multiple runs with my daughter would ever have led to a family of 35,000 people. That's positive energy that is undeniably beautiful. <laughs> the feeling I get from running is really just hard to describe. But what I do know is it's something I want every human to experience. So they can feel that connection that occurs between your mind and your body as you go out there and are included in a community experience. Running has healed me in so many ways to not only feel Ainsley's presence, to continue to be moved by her, but at the same time to grieve and to be okay with grieving. And even now, five, six years after her passing, like her spirit is so with me every time I run. To live uplifted is to just be the brightest light you can be. And if you can find that through running, if you can find that through giving, leverage it. Harness it and make your light brighter.